Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Mercedes-Benz GLA 200D on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electrically. You can do that from the key or the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll then see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well. You can fold those rear seats down, of course, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. Uh, now that we've done a full circle of it, though, you can see the alloy wheels and bodywork are all in great condition, especially given the vehicle's age. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the right-hand side, the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. In the center, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 78,981. Uh, just below that, we uh, can see what gear the vehicle is. It's automatic. We're in park at the moment. You can also have a digital readout for the speedometer display there, and that is all changed using the buttons over on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have our stereo and phone controls and behind the steering wheel the minus and plus paddle so that you can change gears manually with this automatic gearbox the rest of the gears are on this stalk just here so you have reverse neutral drive and park over in the center we then have the main screen for the car which as you can see includes satellite navigation uh, you can come back out from that to enter obviously the address that you'd like to go to the movement you see me making on the screen just there is being done using this dial now that button will take you back a page at all times. So we are now having pressed that back at our main menu. And you can go through any of these options on here. We do have buttons that will take you directly into any given menu. So for example, the radio button that I've just pushed there. Uh, when it comes to radio, we have FM and AM available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can press the media button and you can listen to it via CD, memory card. We've got USB input as well. And you can pair your phone up. Uh, and pairing your phone is easy at the top here under the telephone heading and then follow the instructions on screen from there if i put the car into reverse you'll also see a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen working our way down the buttons i was just using a moment ago the main volume for the stereo our cd player we can answer and end phone calls from here we have a heated driver and passenger seat. Both seats have three separate heat settings each. You can turn off your stop and start. You can turn the parking sensors on and off. We can turn our hazard warning lights on and off, of course, and change the driving setup of the car. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed, change the direction the air is being distributed in. Once you're happy with all of those settings, that's now your air conditioning turned on. The same button, of course, will turn that off. Or you can hit auto. The car will now take full control for you to maintain those temperatures. You can override that uh, whenever you wish to. We have a 12 volt charging socket, uh, an area here for you to store coins, for example. In this section, even more storage again. And then the dial that I went through just a moment ago. The last thing I wanted to mention are the twin sunroofs that you see just here. We have a sun blind that you can open up simultaneously from front to rear. And as you can see, with those open, you get a lot of extra light in this cabin area. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the paperwork we have for the car. Uh, so you can see the V5 registration document just there. Uh, in the envelope, we have the spare key for the car. So two keys in total. And underneath the V5, a comprehensive stack of service paperwork as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.